presenting my wedding lookbook. I don't know if it's even a thing, but let's do it. So I've always loved fashion, dressing up, saving for the outfits that I actually love and obviously during my wedding I went through Pinterest for hours and hours just finding like a perfect reference image for each of the functions and I'm so happy with all the looks that I curated and the way they turned out. You know there's this day that you're really excited about and when the day actually arrives you're shitting your pants. Yeah, let's discuss about two such days of my life where I was super nervous but I felt the prettiest and I was the happiest. I think thanks to my husband and family for like cheering me and making me feel like that throughout all the functions. Okay, this is not an award show speech, so let's just quickly dive into the outfits and let's talk about that. So for the mehendi outfit, I was sure I wanted like the mehendi green color outfit. Like if you know what that color looks like. This outfit is from Pratap Sons. It is one of my favorite stores to shop from. On purpose, I didn't go for a jolly heavy outfit because I wanted something that I could use and reuse later as well. I chose a really nice kundan necklace to go with it. For my hair, I had extension for the first time. And honestly, for the first 20 minutes, I was scared that it would just fall off and my embarrassing Mehendi video would go viral. I even added a hairband along with it. And no, the extensions didn't fall off even after two hours of non-stop games, jumping, dancing and playing the most competitive Fuloki Holi with everyone. Clearly, I had no control. Oh, by the way, because it was a morning function, though I didn't want to miss the whole swag sunglasses entry also. Huh? And you might see a lot of awkward dance entries throughout all my functions, but that is who I am, I guess. Moving on to the Sangeet look. Now, this was one of the dreamiest outfit I felt like. It was the perfect blue with bling all over. I had extra fabric so I got matching gloves stitched as well. The groom's outfit was custom made keeping my look in mind obviously. This outfit was from Vasransi. I'm gonna leave the details of all the outfits in the description so don't worry. For the hair I converted this necklace into a hairband which by the way I think looks fab. I had baby's breath flowers all over. This was such a last minute decision that I totally loved. And I'm sure during your weddings you're gonna do many things last minute and you might or might not like it but don't focus on that because I'm sure the final outfit and the final look is going to be amazing and chote chote changes ke karan don't like be sad or anything of that sort. Again I had hair extensions here as well but by now you can see that I've gotten pretty comfortable with it. My outfit was really heavy so I didn't want jewelry to take in all the attention so I kept my jewelry quite simple. And if you see, I match like the silver because I'm wearing like a silver hairband, I'm wearing silver jewelry and my gown also has like silver blingy work all over. So I try to match that as well. Also for the Sangeet look, I tried lenses for the first time and I was like, oh, I'm going to record a whole dramatic video of me wearing the lens and how difficult it is going to be. But I just wore the lenses in like five minutes, which is quite good for a beginner, I guess. For all my functions, I kept my footwear really basic and I don't have clips of that, obviously, because gown and all me dikta nahi hai. So just go for like a nice blingy footwear that you like. You can go for block heels, like I think platform heels or even flats. Because in the end, wo dikhne to wale nahi hai itna zada. So just wear something that you're really comfortable in. Now is the moment that you all have been waiting for, I guess, now that you've made it this far to the video. I'm sure you want to see my wedding outfit and I was just creating thoda dramatic buzz before I show you my outfit. Oh, also there's a disclaimer that I got my wedding outfit from Chandni Chowk and there's this particular store that I got it from and I've shopped from there before but during my wedding outfit, the delivery wasn't on time. My dupatta had like small holes on it and later the communication was so bad with them like I couldn't understand and they weren't ready to give me like quick solutions to my problem so all that happened but in the end we fixed it and before mentioning all the outfit details I thought of mentioning that as well otherwise they are a great store to you know check out for your weddings and everything it's just that ek bar ye hua and that also on my wedding day so I was really upset but in the end I figured everything out and 
everything was great for my second chunni i didn't buy from them because second chunni generally thodi expensive hoti hai so i got my second chunni from a local store you can do that too you can buy like a plain chunni have a lace on it and thoda tick tim tim whatever that is called tick tick tim tim on like the dupatta and i think it looks pretty good too good too so anyway enough of rona dhona let's just quickly talk about my shaadi ka joda it's a really pretty dark pink lehenga i know it almost looks red but it's not i styled it with a contrast green kundan necklace it's cliche but i love it then i got this mangti ka separately because i had this particular design in mind and i showed the shopkeeper pinterest references now coming to my jutis i got them even before i got my wedding dress i mean wo kuch kuch cheeze hoti hai na that you just see and you're like i am going to wear this on my wedding i want this song on my wedding it is one of those things i mean hota hai na sabka kuch kuch i guess i love my hairstyle so much this was one of the most magical moments of my wedding and i'm so glad that in the end everything about this look worked out nahi to bahut regret hota i'm kidding in the end once you are ready just focus on being like the happiest bride and i'm sure you'll look fab just like i did hai na Moving on to the final outfit that is my reception outfit. Oh my god, in Janice's voice literally. I felt like I looked so like magical in that outfit and so pretty. I mean, there was shimmer, there was ombre, there was like this whole uh, veil sort of thing. It is just perfect. I looked so good. Remember that kalki dress I talked about in the other video? This is that dress. The dupatta thing on my head looked so magical. I added a hairband to highlight that. I love the whole I'm a new bride reception look. This ombre skirt has my heart. I mean, I'm sure I can style it in so many different ways, and I'm already excited about that. Yes, I'm inserting this filmy kissing clip because whatever. This video demanded a cheesy ending. Okay, I hope you guys liked all the outfits and. Yeah, I, I just like to say that Indian wedding is all about having fun and you know just smiling throughout and not being sad about your outfit or anything. You can be, but once you like are ready and like going on the stage, just don't think about any of it because uske baad any of it doesn't really matter so much. It's just having fun and smiling matters. So make sure you do that. And with that, I'll see you in a new video soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.